असलम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू साइंस क्लास टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर 11 ऑफ योर साइंस बुक दैट इज फोर्स एंड प्रेशर इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू लर्न अबाउट इफेक्ट्स ऑफ फोर्स अ फोर्स कैन नॉट बी सीन इट कैन बी जज ओनली बाय द इफेक्ट्स इट कैन प्रोड्यूस इन वेरियस ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराउंड अस नाउ लेट एस सी द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ फोर्स A force can move a stationary object. A force can stop a moving object. A force can change the speed of a moving object. A force can change the direction of a moving object. A force can change the shape or size of an object. Now let's try to understand all these effects through some examples. Let's begin with force can move a stationary object. Students, see, here we have a trolley, and this trolley is at rest. If you will apply force or push it, it will start moving. So you can move a trolley by pushing it. Clear. similarly you can make a cart move by pulling it you can move a football which is at rest by kicking it when you will apply force on this football it will start moving understood good similarly the force of engine makes a stationary car to move hope with these examples you understood that a force can move stationary object force can stop a moving body students you must have watched a cricket match have you observed how the fielders dive to stop the ball from crossing the boundary what they are actually doing yes they are applying their strength to stop the ball or we can say they are applying force with their hands to stop the ball similarly when you apply brakes on car or moving bicycle it stops clear have you seen any spinning top A spinning top can be stopped by the force exerted by hands. All these examples prove that force can stop a moving object. Understood? Very good. Force can change the speed of a moving body. When a person pushes a moving swing, it moves faster. and when he or she pulls the swing in the opposite direction it slows down similarly when more force is applied on the pedals by a cyclist speed of cycle increases so force can change the speed of a moving object got it good force can change the direction of a moving body students you might have noticed when a batsman hits the ball with his bat the direction of the moving ball changes similarly when a tennis player returns a service he or she uses force to change the direction of the ball have you seen football match a football player kicks the ball accordingly to make it move in the desired direction he can change its direction by kicking the ball all these examples prove that force can change the direction of a moving object got it very good a force can change the shape and size of an object students look at this spring if we pull it at both the ends with our hands then the shape and size of the spring changes 
do you know why because the force of our hands changes the shape and size of this spring the turns of the spring become farther apart and its length increases now let us see some more examples in which a force changes the shape of an object see the shape of dough changes on pressing with the rolling pin when we are making chapatis the shape of this dough changes when we press the dough with the rolling pin we apply force so we can say that the shape of the dough changes on applying force understood now see this toothpaste tube the shape of the toothpaste tube changes when we squeeze it because we apply force while squeezing it when we try to take out that toothpaste so we press it in form of pressing what we are doing we are applying force clear when we hammer a piece of aluminium metal its shape changes and an aluminium sheet is formed understood this change in shape occurs because we apply force while hammering similarly the shape of a sponge tomato balloon or tennis ball changes on pressing and the shape and size of a rubber band changes on stretching the shape and size of a balloon changes when it is filled with air or water because the weight of air exert force on the walls of the balloons from inside from these examples we can conclude that a force can change the shape and size of an object understood very good